Whey is the liquid remaining after milk has been curdled and strained. It is a byproduct of the manufacture of cheese or casein and has several commercial uses. Sweet whey is a byproduct produced during the manufacture of rennet types of hard cheese, like cheddar or Swiss cheese. Acid whey, also known as sour whey is a byproduct produced during the making of acid types of dairy products, such as cottage cheese or strained yogurt. Whey proteins consist of alpha-lactalbumin, beta-lactoglobulin, serum albumin, immunoglobulins, and protease peptones. Composition Whey protein is the collection of globular proteins isolated from whey. The protein in cow's milk is 20% whey protein and 80% casein protein, whereas the protein in human milk is 60% whey and 40% casein. The protein fraction in whey constitutes approximately 10% of the total dry solids in whey. This protein is typically a mixture of beta-lactoglobulin, approximately 65%, alpha-lactalbumin, approximately 25%, bovine serum albumin, approximately 8%. See also serum albumin and immunoglobulins. These are soluble in their native forms, independent of pH. The amino acid cysteine in whey protein is a substrate for the synthesis of glutathione in the body, which is a ubiquitous cellular antioxidant. Laboratory experiments have suggested that whey protein and its components might reduce the risk of cancer in animals, suggesting an avenue for future medical research. Topic: <laughs> Production. To produce cheese, rennet or an edible acid is added to heated milk. This makes the milk coagulate or curdle, separating the milk solids curds from the liquid whey. Sweet whey is the byproduct of rennet coagulated cheese, and acid whey, also called sour whey is the byproduct of acid coagulated cheese. Sweet whey has a pH greater than or equal to 5.6, acid whey has a pH less than or equal to 5.1. Whey is left over when milk is coagulated during the process of cheese production, and contains everything that is soluble from milk after the pH is dropped to 4.6 during the coagulation process. It is a 5% solution of lactose in water, with some minerals and lactalbumin. The fat is removed and then processed for human foods. Processing can be done by simple drying, or the relative protein content can be increased by removing lipids and other non-protein materials. For example, spray drying after membrane filtration separates the proteins from whey. Whey can be denatured by heat. High heat, such as the sustained high temperatures above 72 degrees Celsius associated with the pasteurization process, denatures whey proteins. While native whey protein does not aggregate upon renneting or acidification of milk, denaturing the whey protein triggers hydrophobic interactions with other proteins, and the formation of a protein gel. Heat denatured whey can still cause allergies in some people. <laughs> uses Whey is used to produce whey cheeses such as ricotta, brunost, and whey butter and many other products for human consumption. The fat content of whey is low, for example 1,000 kg of whey are required to make typically 1 kg of whey butter. It is also an additive in many processed foods, including breads, crackers, and commercial pastry, and in animal feed. Whey proteins consist primarily of alpha-lactalbumin and beta-lactoglobulin. Depending on the method of manufacture, whey may also contain glycomacropeptides GMP. Dairy whey remaining from homemade cheesemaking has many uses. It is a flour conditioner and can be substituted for skim milk in most baked good recipes that require milk, bread, pancakes, muffins, etc. Throughout history, whey was a popular drink in inns and coffee houses. When Joseph Priestley was at college at Daventry Academy, 1752-1755, he records that, on the morning of Wednesday the 22nd of May 1754, he went with a large company to drink whey. This was probably sack whey or wine whey. Another use of whey is to make cream of tartar whey. 
Put a pint of blue milk blue milk is characterized by the appearance on its surface, 18 or 24 hours after it is drawn, of small, indigo blue fungal spots that rapidly enlarge until the whole surface is covered with a blue film over the fire. When it begins to boil, put in two teaspoonfuls of cream of tartar, then take it off the fire, and let it stand till the curd settles to the bottom of the pan, then put it into a basin to cool, and drink it milk warm. In areas where cheese is made, excess whey byproduct is sometimes sprayed over hay fields as a fertilizer. Historically whey, being a byproduct of cheese making, was considered a waste product and was pumped into rivers and streams in the U.S. containing protein. This practice led to the growth of large concentrations of algae. These were deemed to be a hazard to the ecosystem because they prevented sunlight and oxygen from reaching the water. The government eventually prohibited this practice which led to a disposal problem for producers. Their first solution was to use it as a cheap filler in the production of ice cream. Whey eventually found its way into many other products as a filler and ultimately into a number of health food products where it remains a popular supplement. <laughs> whey protein A mixture of globular proteins isolated from whey containing beta-lactoglobulin, approximately 65%, alpha-lactalbumin, approximately 25%, and serum albumin, approximately 8%, which are soluble in their native culture forms independent of pH. One study found that those taking whey protein gained several more kilograms of muscle mass than people taking the other supplements. Soy protein and pea protein are alternatives for those who choose not to consume animal protein or are lactose intolerant, the liquid material created as a byproduct of cheese production. Whey protein is commonly marketed as a dietary supplement, and various health claims have been attributed to it in the alternative medicine community. Although whey proteins are responsible for some milk allergies, the major allergens in milk are the caseins. It is sold as a nutritional supplement. Such supplements are especially popular in the sport of bodybuilding. In Switzerland, where cheese production is an important industry, whey is used as the basis for carbonated soft drinks such as Rivella and Montino. In Iceland, liquid whey is sold as Mysa. Whey is the primary ingredient in most protein powders, which are used primarily by athletes and bodybuilders to obtain the necessary amounts of protein on a daily basis. Whey protein has a high level of leucine, one of the three branched chain amino acids, making it ideal for muscle growth and repair. From cow's milk, just as curds are processed and later made into cheese, the whey undergoes a lengthy road to become the powder that fills each container. The whey is then pasteurized, just like any milk, to assure that no harmful bacteria are breeding in the liquid. It is heated to 70 to 80 degrees Celsius and is then cooled back down to 4 degrees. Studies have shown that this process of using extreme temperatures eliminates 99.7% of bacteria without coagulating the protein into a solid mass. Next, the whey must be filtered, and so is loaded into a massive web of ceramic filters and stainless steel turbines. These machines work to separate out the lactose as well as the fats, leaving a liquid of 90% whey protein. The next step is solidifying the protein. The liquid is put into a massive dryer that uses hot air followed by cold air to separate all the water from the whey, leaving a dry solid. Lastly, a high-speed blender mixes the newly formed powder with flavors like cocoa or vanilla to mask the chalky and sometimes bitter taste. This is the final product that is often mixed with milk or water and consumed for a quick serving of 10 to 40 grams of protein. Whey protein typically comes in four major forms, concentrate WPC, isolate WPI, hydrolysate WPH, and native whey. Concentrates have typically a low but still significant level of fat and cholesterol but, in general, compared to the other forms of whey protein, they are higher in carbohydrates in the form of lactose. They are 29% to 89% protein by weight. Isolates are processed to remove the fat and lactose. They are 90% plus protein by weight. Like whey protein concentrates, whey protein isolates are mild to slightly milky in taste. Hydrolysates are whey proteins that are pre-digested and partially hydrolyzed for the purpose of easier metabolizing, but their cost is generally higher. Highly hydrolyzed whey may be less allergenic than other forms of whey. Native whey protein is extracted from skim milk, not a byproduct of cheese production, and produced as a concentrate and isolate. Topic. Whey cream and butter 
Cream can be skimmed from whey. Whey cream is saltier, tangier, and cheesier than sweet cream skimmed from milk, and can be used to make whey butter. Due to the low fat content of whey the yield is not high, with typically 2 to 5 parts of butter manufactured from 1,000 parts of whey. Whey cream and butter are suitable for making butter-flavored food, as they have a stronger flavor of their own. They are also cheaper to manufacture than sweet cream and butter. Health Because whey contains lactose, it should be avoided by those who are lactose intolerant. Dried whey, a very common food additive, contains 65-75% lactose and 11-12% protein. When used as a food additive, whey can contribute to quantities of lactose far above the level of tolerance of most lactose intolerant individuals. Liquid whey contains lactose, vitamins, protein, and minerals, along with traces of fat. In 2005, researchers at Lund University in Sweden found that whey can help regulate and reduce spikes in blood sugar levels in people with type 2 diabetes by increasing insulin secretion. People can be allergic to whey or other milk proteins. This is an allergy, not lactose intolerance. As whey proteins are altered by high temperatures, whey sensitive people may be able to tolerate evaporated, boiled, or sterilized milk. Hard cheeses are high in casein, but low in whey proteins, and are the least allergenic for those allergic to whey proteins. However, casein proteins which are, heat -stable are the most important allergens in cheese, and an individual may be allergic to either or both types of protein. <laughs> Unsupported health claims In 2010 a panel of the European Food Safety Authority examined health claims made for whey protein. For the following claims either no references were provided on the claimed effect, or the provided studies did not test the claims or reported conflicting results. Increase in satiety leading to a reduction in energy intake Contribution to the maintenance or achievement of a normal body weight Growth or maintenance of muscle mass Increase in lean body mass during energy restriction and resistance training Reduction of body fat mass during energy restriction and resistance training Increase in muscle strength Increase in endurance capacity during the subsequent exercise bout after strenuous exercise Skeletal muscle tissue repair Faster recovery from muscle fatigue after exercise. On the basis of the data presented, the 2010 panel concluded that a cause and effect relationship between the consumption of whey protein and these claims had not been established. See also Buttermilk, List of dairy products.